Hey y'all, Trista Crisidlo here, and it's April 20th, 420, a day for really funny fast food ads. Some of you are going to have a really good time today, and for me, the perfect opportunity to discuss the intricacies of the law surrounding the cannabis industry in the United States. I know! Now, if you hear marijuana and immediately think of reefer madness, Cheech and Chong, or even some bizarre experience of your youth, it's time to change the way you think about the industry. The head shops of the past are gone. They've been replaced with glossy, clean, medicinal boutiques that dispense various strains of marijuana with numerous forms of ingestion. So what does the new industry have to do with real estate? Simple. Over half of all states in the United States have decriminalized the possession, ingestion, cultivation, and distribution of marijuana or cannabis in some way. Now, I'm careful to say decriminalized because what that means is in certain states, in certain circumstances, state criminal charges won't be brought in relationship to the marijuana business. However, under federal law, including the Controlled Substance Act, the possession, ingestion, cultivation, sale, or conspiracy to do any of those in relationship to marijuana remains illegal. So if you are a real estate practitioner in one of the states that has a decriminalized regulatory scheme, how do you help your cannabis industry client without running afoul of that federal law? I have two courses up in smoke and how's that working out for you that address the conflict between state and federal laws and provide best practices for you to provide good service to your cannabis industry client. I look forward to seeing you soon.